Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Wednesday. So today I was originally going to upload my um, lifestyle faves. However, because this particular video is a little bit more time sensitive because things have already started selling out, I'm doing a little switcheroo. So hopefully tomorrow on Thursday, I will have my current lifestyle faves video. Uh, but today we are going to be sniffing some brand new candles from Kringle. And this is a collection that I was originally thinking that I kind of had an interest in, but also if you know me, <laughs> you know that these are not the candles that I typically sort of naturally gravitate towards. So in my real life here in my world, uh, my job is I, I'm a florist. Um, I'm actually working on a funeral order for this Friday this week. So um, I currently have my nose uh, it, deep in um, carnations, lilies, roses, and like seven different types of greenery. So um, for me, florals or botanical scents are a little bit tricky because for me, that reminds me of work, right? Like my job is working with flowers. And so naturally I tend to gravitate towards fragrances that are not florals. <laughs> I really love gourmands, I love fruity scents, but um, flowers just kind of remind me of work a lot of times. And when I am relaxing and lighting my candles, I typically don't want to be reminded of that. But I do have to admit, like as I get like further into my 40s and as I have pulled back from doing wedding flowers specifically, I have come to appreciate florals a lot more. Um, they are not, they're still not my favorites, but I can enjoy an amazing floral. So um, Kringle was nice enough to send me the candles that were recently released in the Botanicals collection. So big thank you to them for sending these out because I, I don't know that I would have sprung for these myself. Um, I have not smelled any of these. They literally just arrived in the mail yesterday. And because I was working on these funeral flowers, I didn't even have a chance to open the box until this morning. So I have them sitting in front of me. I thought it would be kind of fun for me to do first sniff impressions for you guys. I'm really, I'm super thankful these are in the soy line because that is really my preferred line from Kringle Candle. The country uh, candle line, which is paraffin wax. Um, I don't find those to be quite as strong and as good of performers for me personally. And just in general, paraffin is not my favorite type of wax. But um, let's go ahead and smell through these. And I also have a little bonus for you at the end. Um, this, uh, they put something else in my package that was a little bit of a surprise. I didn't think they were gonna send this. so. Anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna get started with the flower. Um, by the way, I will put a link to where you can buy Kringle candles down below. These are currently on sale for, I believe, 20% off, and I think you can actually use my discount code on top of that. So if you do wanna order any of these, um, first of all, do it soon, because I do know they are running very low on quantities and one of these has already sold out so um what has sold out is the honeysuckle one so um but the rest are extremely limited these were not a huge run for kringle so if you want any of these or if you want backups i would buy them and um use a discount code i, I don't care if it's mine or somebody else's but use a discount code save yourself a little bit more money so um, I'll put information again in the description box down below. Um, happy shopping if you choose to partake. No pressure. I'm not telling you guys that you have to go buy these candles. This is, you make a decision for yourself, but I'm just here to tell you what, what the smells are. Okay. Um, first, rose. Um, as a florist and just as a human being in general, I, I love roses. I think they're beautiful. I don't grow them. A little high maintenance for me but I do appreciate a nice rose. I really prefer garden roses 
or cabbage style roses that have like the bigger heads. Um, this more traditional like red Valentine's rose is not really my preferred. If I want to go for like a red rose, I actually prefer the black Baccara roses. Have you ever seen those? Oh, they are the darkest, darkest, deep burgundy red. They almost look black and they're velvety. They're so beautiful. I'm telling you, just check out black Baccara. Gorgeous. Okay. So Rose, what I like about the way that they did these candles, by the way, is they actually put the description and the notes on the candle itself. So it looks a little different from what they normally do, but I think it's kind of a nice change of pace. So let's, uh, let's read their little blurb. Rose, an enchanting bouquet of fresh cut garden rose accented with dewy greens, heady jasmine, and, a, and hints of sheer raspberry among tender musk and precious woods. Um, I'm liking the addition of the raspberry here because I feel like that's gonna sweeten that rose up a little bit more. So I, this is literally my first sniff. Ooh. Okay, this is nice. This is a very traditional sort of um, vintage. <laughs> Um, I was going to say something else, but a few people have pointed out and said that I shouldn't say it anymore, so I'm not going to. This is a more vintage type of rose, um, like an older rose smell, not like the more modern, like um, maybe softer, more subdued rose scents that usually come out in home fragrance. This is very traditional. I, there is a sweetness to this, and I think it's the raspberry that's really kind of sweetening this up. There's also that little hint of muskiness, which I think also tends to lend to that like more vintage rose type fragrance. I'm afraid I'm going to stick these wicks up my nose because I'm sticking, <laughs> do you see how long these are? By the way, do not trim, do not, do not trim your wicks before the first burn from Kringle Candle. Um, you don't need to, they will sort of self-regulate. And then I do sometimes trim my wicks between the different burns, um, but sometimes I don't have to. Usually I don't, but if I see them start to like curl a little bit, or if there is sort of a mushroom top forming, I do trim that off, but don't trim the wicks super short on these. So yeah, there's that muskiness. There's not a whole lot of woodiness to this, but there is that musk and there is that like green, almost like a fresh grass type vibe flowing through this. It's nice. Okay, so our notes are rose and green. Those are your top notes. Your mid notes are the freesia and the jasmine and your base are the wood and the musk. Um, the jasmine and the freesia. I do get a little bit of that freesia. I used to use freesia quite a bit in um, like bridal bouquets. Super pretty, right? Like I love the little green um, tips. They're not tips. They're just, they're little flower buds that haven't quite opened. And then usually they will sort of slowly start to open. And then towards the back, the uh, most of the buds have opened. So you have this really pretty, look up Jasmine. It's not Jasmine, uh, freesia. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, look up pictures of Freesia. They're beautiful. I'm sure you've seen them before. They're absolutely stunning. And that fragrance is, it's like a very clean white floral fragrance to my nose. I like this rose a lot. I do appreciate that vintage sort of older rose fragrance. Um, it just kind of, for some reason, it like reminds me of Victorian times. Uh, despite my hair color, I, I am not like... 150 years old um but it kind of just that that type of rose reminds me of something that would have probably been popular in the victorian times i'm just guessing on that all right let's talk about the honeysuckle now this one is sold out so i really wish i would have been able to get this video up before but um yeah these the so i'm in oregon <laughs> Kringle ships out of Massachusetts. So that is on the opposite side of the country and it takes forever for me to get packages. So, um, okay, honeysuckle. Sweet notes of wild honeysuckle gather with sunlit citrus along 
sunlit citrus gleaming with a soft mimosa i swear i can read you guys um delicate orange flower and sheer luminous musks your top notes are honeysuckle and citrus your mid are orange flower and jasmine and your base again are wood and musk which is kind of interesting are these all wooden musk at the base they are look at that nope nope sorry not all of them some of them are some of them are different but here we have another wooden musk base okay honeysuckle Honeysuckle is usually like very strong, just in its like floral format. It's it's a noticeable fragrance for sure. Oh yeah, and it's a very sweet floral. Um, it's not one of those bright, clean florals. It's sweet, and this right off the bat, very sweet floral. There's also some green in this as well, but I can see where they're going with that orange flower. And that kind of like mimosa type note. I, I think they did good adding the orange flower to this and uh, the mimosa because I think it sweetens it up even more. Um, and then that musk and that woodiness keeps it from being cloying. This is not a cloying sweet floral. It's really quite fresh. Um, despite being so sweet, I really like this. And honeysuckle isn't my favorite scent, but I feel like everything that they mix in with this makes it more enjoyable for sure. I don't think this is one that I would want more than like one of, but if you are a honeysuckle lover, not that you can get this anymore, but if they ever come back out with this fragrance, I would suggest picking it up. By the way, I will burn these and will still review them more in depth once they're burning because fragrances can change, obviously. Um, so, oh, oh, yeah, 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 lavender. Okay, I don't love lavender. <laughs> lavender to me uh, comes off as pretty astringent and I suspected that I would not like this and, and I don't. But it's not because there's anything wrong with the fragrance. It smells like fresh, clean lavender, like, like you're standing in a lavender field. But I just personally don't like lavender. Um, this particular one, I think I will gift to my mom because I know she loves lavender and she would love this scent. Um, so your description here is crushed lavender buds accented with aromatic, 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 it's because I'm rushing to get this video up. Sorry, guys. I know that this is so behind. I just, ugh, ugh. it's fine. It's fine. Um, with aromatic citrus, cool white cedar, soothing jasmine petals, and soft musk. So lavender and citrus are your top notes. I don't get citrus from this. Herbal and floral are your mid notes, and wood and musk are your base notes again. Um, I don't get jasmine from this. I don't really get the cedar. It is a cooler fragrance, like a cooler lavender fragrance for sure. Very, but it's it's just all lavender to my nose. And that's the thing about lavender fragrances with me. I feel like with this particular like floral, it's the only thing that I tend to smell. Even if it's blended with like a hundred different things, like lavender is the only thing that my nose is like, yes. Now I don't I don't hate lavender. I think it's very pretty. Um, I actually grow it in my yard, but I don't ever bring it in the house. I just I think it's pretty to look at in the yard, but the smell of it just there's something about it that just rubs me the wrong way. So sorry if you're a lavender lover. It's it's just a me thing. I think if you like lavender, you're probably really going to enjoy that one. Okay, tulip. I thought this one would be kind of interesting. A medley of effervescent bergamot, painted tulips, and delicate white tea brightened with sparkling berry. There is that fruit again. Big fan. And a touch of vanilla. So your top notes are aldehydes, bergamot, and fruit. Your mid are tulip, uh, white tea, and lily. And your base are sweet, musk, and vanilla. So we've got some different base notes here. Okay. I'm really curious about this one. Ooh, this is interesting. This is 
first sticking my nose in this, I wouldn't think floral. I think some kind of, I think sweet. Like I just smell sweet. But the more I smell it, the more I get that vanilla and that berry and the white tea. Now, typically the tulips that I have picked up at market for like wedding orders and stuff have not had much of a fragrance to them. So I wouldn't say like, yes, this is like a strong tulip scent. Um, this is more of like a sweetness with tiny hints of floral. Um, the white tea, that tea note is definitely in there. And I think I see more of that lily than I do tulip. And not the like super traditional lily. Um, and it's like, it's barely noticeable, but it is there. Yeah, this one's interesting. I like it. I do like this, but I think it's very interesting. I am curious to see what this one smells like when it's burning. This to me would be either a great bathroom or bedroom type scent. It's sweet, but clean and kind of smells like summer to me. Something about it screams summer. So if the notes on this one appeal to you, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. And remember you guys, these are, these are super limited. Um, so keep that in mind. Okay. Lotus. This one, this one is one that I was really interested in actually. Um, the intoxicating scent of dewy lotus and melon flower infused with hints of island freesia and night blooming jasmine enveloped with ambered vanilla musk. It's that amber that kind of got me because I love amber, especially in perfumes. Um, so your top notes are freesia, lotus, and honeydew. Your mid notes are jasmine, fresh water, and your base are amber and musk. Ooh, this smells like something that I've smelled before. This immediately like triggers a memory of something. I do not know what the memory is, but I've smelled something very similar to this before. Oh, I hope I can place it at some, if, if I remember like by my video this weekend, I'll let you guys know, but this just smells familiar to me for some reason. Um, that jasmine is for sure, like, is, is noticeable in this. So if you are anti-jasmine, I would, I would not pick this one. This is the first thing that hits me in the face for sure. It smells kind of soapy. I think it reminds me of maybe a soap that my Oma or my grandma had in their bathroom. There's a soapiness to this one to me. And that little bit of like sweet melon you do smell a little bit of melon in here but mix that with soap and jasmine and just a t it's a it's a small amount of amber it's not a lot of amber you're going to get from this i wish it had a little bit more amber so that it was deeper uh like a deeper fragrance but it it's kind of light on the amber yeah I think this reminds me of like a soap that one of my grandmothers had in their bathroom. Not a bad thing, not a bad thing, but it's, this smells kind of old fashioned to me in a way. Okay, last one, gardenia. Um, this is, gardenia is a beautiful white floral. Um, if you've never had a chance to like smell a gardenia, you should figure out how to get a hold of one and stick your nose in it. It is the cleanest, like whitest floral that you can ever smell. It's so beautiful. I have a couple of gardenia perfumes, um, or like gardenia based perfumes. And I think the original Michael Kors is probably one of my favorites. Um, if you've never checked that one out, Ooh, it's so pretty. It has a lot of gardenia in it. Spam call. All right, heady notes of blossoming gardenia, glimmer with lush greens wrapped in blooming ylang ylang, white jasmine, and tender musk. Wow, Mick had a thing for the um, for the jasmine in this go around, huh? <laughs> um, your top notes are white floral, gardenia, 
jasmine and green are your mid notes and musk and sweet are your base notes. So I am expecting a clean white floral. Ooh. This is deeper. This smells almost borderline, um, like it has like a slight earthiness to it. It's just like a deeper floral fragrance. This, I think, is heavier on the musk than the rest of them have been. But it's nice. Oh, gardenia. It's, this is really pretty, you guys. This is this is a different type of gardenia than what I normally come across, I feel like, in gardenia fragrances. Um, that musk, and it might be that ylang ylang that also kind of makes it a little bit different. Um, but I, I see the green notes in here for sure. It just smells like greenery that I pick up at the market, just like a variety of different types of greens. This is very perfumey too. Um, I feel like this is something that could totally be turned into like a personal fragrance and, and probably sell quite well, especially with those that really love gardenia. This is pretty, this is really, really pretty. Um, I would say this and the rose are probably my favorite out of this collection. Um, this is what a gardenia, they're just so pretty, right? Like they're just the most beautiful flower. They're a little temperamental to work with. Don't touch the leaves. They turn brown very quickly. Don't get your oils on them. Your oily hands, you do have hand, you do have oils on your hands and with certain floral petals, if you touch them, it will cause the petals to turn brown. So little tip from me to you. All right, let's talk about the bonus here. So the Reserve Collection just came out with another fragrance. And this one, I was like, oh, I don't know about this at all. Um, the first one was Cannabis, which I reviewed. If you missed my review of Cannabis, um, happy 420 today, uh, I will link that down below. Um, there are a bunch more fragrances coming in this Reserve line. There is a Macaron. There is like a... Um, there's some gourmands coming is what I'm saying. So stay tuned. These are kind of slowly going to be trickling out. Um, this one is uh, late night. All of the reserve line, um, they're using uh, much more expensive oils with this line. So the candles are a few dollars more than their regular candles are. You should be able to use my discount code. This, and they, and they all have this beautiful black packaging, right? So this is late night. Um, I already know what this smells like because my friend Brett over at Philly Candleman um, already told me what it smells like. So I haven't stuck my nose in it, but let's do it. Oh yeah, it's French fries. But it's very specific French fries. These are fries that I think have been sitting out for just the tiniest bit too long. And when you get them, they're just kind of lukewarm fries and they're not crispy anymore. That's the fry that I'm getting from this. And there's a greasiness to it. Yeah, these, these smell like McDonald's french fries that have been sitting around just a tad too long. But what I do with those fries is I bring them home and I put them in my air fryer. If you have one of those, dude, it crisps them right up and makes them hot and delicious. And if you just cook them a smidge too long, it also makes them crunchy. Ooh, I love crunchy fries. Does anybody else like live for the bottom of the French fry thing where you have like the crunchy bits, like just the little like nubs, the ends of different French fries that have fallen off and you're like, oh, crunchy goodness, that. Oh, that's my favorite. This this smells like French fries, slightly stale French fries. I'm curious if I light it, if it becomes more of like a fresh fry fragrance. I need to I need to light this. I might light this tonight because let's celebrate, right? <laughs> oh my god, it smells like French fries. <laughs> if you if you like fries, um, this is your candle. I have to admit, this one to me is just like, I I don't know. It, this one seems like a stranger 
choice than even maybe the cannabis was. But you guys, so many people have loved that cannabis candle. Um, a lot of you purchased it and have told me that you absolutely love it. Um, I love that. I think that's amazing. It's a totally different type of fragrance. And that's what I think is really great about this reserve line is there are fragrances that sometimes you maybe wouldn't think to like have in a candle format and they're kind of fun and different. So um, yeah, this is, I'm kind of excited to light this up. Um, we have some friends coming over tonight. We're actually going to a comedy show. Um, so this might be, this might be a good thing to light up before before heading out to that. So anyway, big thanks to Kringle for sending these out. I really do appreciate um, any PR they send me. So um, a big thanks to them for sending these out so that I could share my thoughts with you. Hopefully you are still able to get your hands on anything that you want to. Also check out a lot of their other sales right now. Kringle is having some fantastic sales. I know a lot of you were waiting for sales before you were shopping. So most of them you should be able to combine the coupon code with and get some extra money off. Happy shopping, like I said, if you choose to partake. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.